The very first phase is to have a good idea that reflects the European Union's policies. Find your own passion because you can go through it if you are not very passionate. Produce something which is going to be sustainable. After you have a good idea, you need to find your partners. You can't uh, develop a good project without uh, good partners. When you have good partners, good friends around, it's much simpler because you can always ask for advice, you can always ask for some questions that is not clear for you. And many of the people think that this is more complicated than it uh, actually is. Once we found the partners together, we draft the project. You need to be straight to the point, have clear ideas of what you are going to do in the following months. It has to be simple, it has to be clear, it has to be effective and it has to be coherent with the budget. Many are still afraid that it's a new funding, it's bureaucratic and difficult. Where there is a difficulty, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. My advice would be to not be afraid of the EU bureaucracy. The projects always need to be innovative, so we need to make them new and interesting. Be open, be honest. Be active, <laughs> nothing else. You can succeed or not, but you should try. If you don't try, you cannot succeed. I would definitely invite everybody to be a part of the Erasmus Plus Sport Program.